it's Gab and I'm reviewing the new musical comedy Pitch Perfect starring Anna Kendrick as a college freshman who um, arrives at college um, sort of the outcast and not wanting to be there. All she cares about is music but she finds um, something to connect with and be drawn into and believe in in a female uh, a cappella group on campus and who recruit her and um, they compete and their main rivals are the all-male a cappella group also on campus. Now the uh, the girl group is run by a very type A uh, sorority sister uh, type who wants to keep things um, very traditional and uh, is very controlling and Anna Kendrick's character is supposed to shake things up so that they can finally um, get some uh, uh, some props and some prizes um, breaking out of their shells. It's a ragtag group, of course, of girls, um, oddball characters, stereotypical uh, oddball types. Um, you know, you get a few laughs from the, the odd characters, but uh, there's really not a lot of in-depth character uh, layers or analysis here. Um, even with Anna Kendrick's character, I mean, she's supposed to be edgy, but what makes her edgy, her backstory is that her parents are divorced. I mean, big big whoop, whose parents aren't divorced. And um, she wears black nail polish, ooh, you know. But she's supposed to be the one with a real um, sort of bringing the fresh music vibe into the girl group. And honestly, the music part is the parts I like the best, even though that's not really my genre. I don't watch Glee. I'm not, I'm not too uh, into current uh, music. I don't want to sound like an old fogey, but I guess I am. Um, but uh, the musical, the song selections, from more recent songs to more throwbacks, 80s stuff, uh, and the way they're arranged, and the singing is really good. I was really impressed with Anna Kendrick's singing and uh, really all the cast members. So whenever it's a musical uh, scene, um, the energy is really there, and I was into it. Like, I wanted to jump up there and be part of it. Other than that, the story about the, the rivalry and, and the competing um, is very, very basic, very thin. It's your typical, you know, bring it on, or even Glee. I don't watch Glee, but I'm sure that type of thing. Um, nothing much else going on there at all. In terms of the girls, um, the interpersonal relationships, uh, it's a Again, it's treated in a very surface, superficial way. Any sort of friendship issue that come, that's brought up and is dismissed. And there's a very mild uh, romantic interest uh, story as well that I felt had pretty much no chemistry whatsoever. I don't buy Anna Kendrick as a freshman. Uh, I don't buy her as edgy. Um, and I didn't particularly find her character as the main, the protagonist, likable, or any of them really. Um, but the odd, bog characters, one of them, Rebel Wilson, as you may know, who plays Fat Amy, you do get some laughs despite yourself from, from some of the quirky characters. Uh, but a lot of the humor was also very lowbrow. I think that this film is sort of trying to aim to be sort of an edgy um, comedy, and it's not really, I mean, plot wise. Um, and genre-wise, it's definitely more for the young, for the youthful crowd. Um, and yet the, the edginess factor, a lot of sex jokes um, were sort of felt a bit out of place, like they were trying too hard. And, and yet on the other hand, there's this running gag to do with vomit, which is sort of out of place as well. And so it was this real mishmash, like humor-wise, where I wasn't quite sure what it was going for. My favorite humor moments were from, there's a pair of male and female commentators at the uh, at the singing competitions. Uh, one is Elizabeth Banks. Uh, they're, they had the best lines, and they're probably the eldest cast members, practically. Um, and their commentary lines um, had the best uh, one-liner uh, jokes for me, where I got my laughs. Um, so, I mean, there were some laughs, but um, not quite, as I said, I'm not the demographic, and I admit that, but I'm not sure who would have the most laughs at this kind of humor. Uh, Music-wise, definitely for the young crowd and great musical scenes, which I really appreciated. But uh, otherwise, story and character uh, characterizations fall quite flat. This is not any kind of classic addition to the young adult uh, musical comedy oeuvre, if that is, if that's a genre. Um, the film, the plot, um, references Breakfast Club a little bit. I think it's sort of trying to, to position itself as that sort of, uh, you know, um, quirky, uh, edgy, yet feel good, um, you know, group dynamic storyline, uh, young adult storyline. And I mean, it's no way in any way a classic uh, of, of that sort. It's a very mild, entertaining uh, watch uh, for the music and for some of the laughs. No more than that. I give it three out of five gabs. Thanks for watching. That's my backup singer, Rosie. That's my baby. See, I'm a bit of an old fogey for this kind of movie, but hey, I'll try them all. Thanks for watching.